jumping The water's fine, it's a celebration No, we ain't stressing cause we on vacation Not a care in the world today, baby Bobby AGT, Kevin Barbers, we are back again on the Most Important Things podcast. My man Bobby, how you doing, brother? Hey, buddy, doing really well. As always, happy to be here. I don't know if the people at home have noticed, but this is a bi-weekly occurrence now. Yeah. For well, those of you who don't know what bi-weekly means. Well, life it means, happens. It means every two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, it means we change our sexuality every week. I do. I, mean, <laughs> I texted that to Travis and I was like, uh, I think we're going to make the show bi-weekly. And he goes... Wow, that's going to get expensive. <laughs> and I was like, what? And oh, he's like, shit. oh, I read that wrong. Oh, shit. Well, man, I'm always happy to be here as well. Hell yeah. Um, like, like I said in the last podcast, I wanted to come here with a little more ammo, with a little more action. And, uh, and here we are again. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got a little bit of action, a little bit of ammo. Oh, we got ammo. We got action. I'm keeping my coffee on the table this day because I don't care about others' perceptions. People are like, wow, Bobby drinks too much coffee. Fuck yeah, I do. <laughs> My man, Bobby AGT. I love this kid. Love this guy. Love this man. Love this vibe. Love this energy. Love the emotion. But, man, it's fun. It's great to see you, bro. You too, buddy. It's you know, been a while. Uh, what's, your, what's phone, your phone was broken for a few days. Yeah. And so. I was texting you, and you weren't getting back to me. And then I seen you active on Instagram. I'm like, is it? Yeah, what's yeah. the deal? You know what I'm saying? I had uh, two phones for a while. My original phone had gotten a little fucked up. I had to upgrade. I got the new phone in the mail, but I was lazy as shit, and I uh, started the new Instagram page, Circle of Mindfulness, and I was taking advantage of having two phones because I would make my post on this one. I'd send it to this one, post yeah. it on this one, and I was, like, double phoning it up for, like, a week <laughs> and a half, and then I was like, shit, I got to send this phone back to AT&T or they're going to charge me. Oh, shit. So I sent it back, but I had lost this phone for a couple days. Mm. So I'm like, crap, uh, yeah. I can only communicate via Instagram. Or Facebook Messenger. Okay. My, none of my iMessages were coming through. So this motherfucker's texting me every day. I wasn't getting anything. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good, though, man. We're here. We're back. And uh, like I said, we were able to... Uh, we're back, you know? Like I said, two weeks. For all of our viewers, thank you guys all for tuning in. Men, oh, 156 woman. of you. And, uh, yeah, much, much love to all of you. Thank you for, you know, for giving us... Um, your mind, your two ears, and, and everything that uh you know that we want to bring, but we don't want to just be a podcast to 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 you know to talk about what uh we want to talk about. We also want to talk about things that we were able to do in this life. That's why we took two weeks um to come back on. We don't want to always come on with the shame mumbo jumbo uh, motivational because like to motivate is to be motivated, yeah. and it's to do things to show people why you're motivated. So, I mean, I've been talking about motivation for the past year, Bobby, and uh, a lot of people have seen me, you know, try different things, but not really getting anywhere with it, mm. you know? Yeah. But uh, what I got out of it was I was able to connect with everybody that I'm connected with these days, which is a true, a true blessing. And it's funny because I'm almost like content with everybody. Like I'm, I love everybody that I, that I communicate with, you know, whether it's on my Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Hell yeah. But um, these last few weeks, Bob, so as you can see, I'm a little uh, dressed up, a little oh, yeah. more than an average podcast. Um, earlier on in the day, earlier on today, I went to a, another job interview for uh, a car dealership. And uh, it was actually my second one for this one. Yeah. So uh, I, I had seen the sales manager, and then today I t saw the general manager. Nice. And uh, yeah, they seem to, uh, you know, they seem to like me, which is great. Um, let's do a sales exercise. I would love to. Sell me this. Sell me this deck of cards here, would you? So what we got here? I don't have a pen. So yeah. So what we got here, Bob? Can I call you Bob? You can call me whatever you'd like, sir. All right, my friend. So I really like that tie. Thank you, thank you. I like your shirt. I like your jacket. Thank you so much. Um, what I think goes really great with that green uh, shirt underneath is this green deck of pod decks. You know, there's a lot of fun. You know, if you're trying to add fun and value to your life, this is a deck of pod decks. You're probably asking, what is pod decks? Yeah. Pod decks are different conversational starters that can then lead to funky little answers that can then lead to, um, I don't know, actually. Well, but it is fun. What that, is what is a pod? Well, a pod is a podcast. Podcast. Okay, and this Never is a of deck of podcast ideas, conversational starters. What is a podcast? A podcast is where people go on and talk about you know what they're doing. There's different kind of podcasts here, Bob. Uh, you know, this <laughs> you th this kind of aggressive, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I shit. forgot I'm talking to Bobby the customer, not Bobby the AGT. Exactly. But <laughs> Bobby um, the AGT. 
<laughs> oh, I'll have man. to get you a Grant Cardone book or something. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Listen, I, not I, bad. I shout, bad. shout out to Pod Decks. Yeah, 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 shout, shout out to Pod Decks. Hey, one thing that I'm Free not. Free advertisement. Listen, one thing that I'm not in this life, Bobby, is an expert on anything. Hey, um, you know, I was I was thinking of what I was going to say on the way here. I was actually thinking of making a video, but I'm like, screw it. I'll go insane on the podcast. Man, so many people have seen me try different things, and so many people have seen me fail at so many things. But f- I think failure is never a reason to give up. Failure is never a reason to stop trying mm-hmm. because I feel like there's, is, there's evolution through that failure. It makes us stronger. Good word. Um, it's, it shows us what we can get through to, and still be uh, standing, you know, Rocky. Yeah. You know, Glover Teixeira, who oh, came yeah. off a huge win this Ooh. weekend. You know, yeah, true he that. says, uh, you know, I want to shout out to Rocky. Um, what does he what does he say? Shoot. I don't remember. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter how hard you get. How, it doesn't matter how hard you can hit. It matters how hard you can get hit and keep Very on true. moving forward. All I heard from the interview was, Dana, I'm an old man. Yeah. Give me a shot. <laughs> yeah. Give me one more shot. <laughs> hey, he's 41. He's taking out it's these true. young he's guys. And, out, uh, man. man, he's a beast. Shout out to Glover to share. But evolution, yeah, hundred yeah. percent, dude. I like you can't you can't move forward in life. Um, you know you have to have these failures. Ugh. that's how you know. And they to suck. Do that shit again, yeah. Yeah, they do suck. You know, it, it can take mo- days, months, years to get out of it. Like, dude, and once you do get out of it, though, it makes you appreciate how how it helped. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so I look forward to to working at this car dealership. I yeah. mean, um, it's going to be a big life change, <clears throat> huge life change. It's, uh, it's an hour away. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, long hours, 8 to 7. As you know, you used to work at a car dealership. Uh, maybe a little more local than where I'm mm. going to be working. But I, I wouldn't. I'd, I've worked sales jobs before. I worked at a car dealership very briefly. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I worked a couple jobs very briefly. I'm mm. kind of the world's shittiest employee. I'm sure Travis knows. Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way. You're so uh, fucking nodding his head. You're an employee to the world, my friend. <laughs> Do a lot more than you Bobby. Think. Where are you? Hey, you You're were supposed able to be to... here hours ago. <laughs> hey, you know what's great though, man? The fact that we were able to connect. Yeah. I got a haircut. Uh, yes, two days. Ago. You look sharp. Sunday. Thanks, bro. I got a haircut and um, shout out to my man Josh Shag. And he, you know, he asked me. He said, "Hey, how's the podcast going?" I go, "You know, it's going slowly but surely." He's like, "Slowly." He's like, bro, he's like, I remember you last year walking around, uh, you know, going for your runs and you were talking about podcasts. And, you know, here you are only a year later yeah. and you have a nice studio. You're able to connect with, a, uh, you know, a fine gentleman at Bobby AGT who was able to connect with Travis, you know, the the, the leading operator of Brandon Center Studios here in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm just going to continue to try to evolve and, uh, you know, slowly, slowly but surely, but surely. You know, who's that's Shirley? One. <laughs> Slowly but surely. I know, right? Uh, who is Shirley? Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> don't call me that. Travis no. Shirley Gordon. <laughs> no, 100% though. Um, straight up. Um, uh, people like to think that a year is a long time when you hear it. Mm-hmm. Like a year. Like, geez, a year? Oh, man. But he, March felt like fucking a few weeks ago. Yeah. It just this, this year is, I mean, I don't know. Everybody's got a different perspective, I guess, but like some people think this has been the longest year from hell, but I feel I'm like, Jesus Christ, this hair, this, this year was quick as fuck. Dude. You know, what's crazy a year ago today. Well, what's it? November, maybe a year ago, maybe when we first started this, uh, you know, like I just mentioned, I'm, you know, I'm working at this car dealership, which is cool. Uh, but in life you could have different hobbies or you got to have different streams of income, you know, uh, I was working. For, I've been working for my dad, you know, home construction the last ten years. And uh, a year ago, at this time, I was, uh, you know, I got into door dashing. So a year later, now, now I'm podcasting. Mm-hmm. So I think that's cool. You know, I yeah. went from door dashing to podcasting, and you know, hoping, hoping I open up some eyes and eyelashing. You know, <laughs> I hope the money starts coming in, so I start cashing. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, all right. All right. you know, we stay mashing. I like baseball, so. I got eczema, so I'm always rashing. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You know? <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, when you said mashing, I thought of mashed potatoes, and this is probably going to offend some people, but <laughs> we were talking about Donald Trump and Joe Biden the other day, yep. and my wife said, <laughs> Joe Biden is a mashed potato, <laughs> <laughs> and I just can't get the image out oh of my, my head. Oh, my God, that's funny. Uh, it's kind of fucked up, but... Well, um, you got mashed potato, and you got a sweet potato. Sweet potato. Yeah, true that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, oh, but, man. But, uh, yeah, you know what, though? Whatever, like I said before this, I know you, let's touch on that real fast, uh, politics. Um, 
God bless America. We have to accept the outcome, and we have to continue to try to work on ourselves within this outcome. I mean, whatever it is. I before I didn't vote, and I've said that I've been pretty vocally. Mm -hmm. But whatever happens afterwards, a lot of people coming for your neck. I know a lot of people. Oh man. But uh, that's why I just don't fucking say anything. Usually. Yeah. Well, I felt like in that moment I needed to say something because I'm just like, there's fighting. You know, everyone's fighting about this and that, and I'm like, yeah. why are we fighting? Why are we fighting? We're supposed to be uniting. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all out here trying to stand up for ourselves and what we believe in, which is great. I mean, you all have to stand in f- up for what you believe in, but it's like let's not fight each other. Like let's let's yeah. somehow compromise. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I seen something this morning. I don't know if it was fake or whatever, but it was like. Uh, Trump was called to work with Biden's team or something. I'm like, if the, if I'm reading that correctly, I I I like that. I appreciate that. Like, yeah. we should all be working together within all the problems in this world that there is. But yeah, what's wrong is that we all have different uh, perceptions of what we feel is right. I saw something Joe Rogan this morning, and he's just like, uh, um, oh, it's funny. We go from like dumb to stupid from like ugly to pretty and it's like we all think we have this right answer so we just go with the complete opposite of what of what is of what it is just so i don't know it was funny but it's just like we should all be compromising meeting in the middle yeah absolutely and um i don't don't usually talk about this stuff at all it's probably my least favorite subject me too um but it's just weird how many people come out of the woodwork Mm. and I like are offended all of a sudden and start going back and forth to people who a year ago wasn't saying shit. Like yeah. when, when like certain policies were coming into place and, you know, fucking with people, a lot of these people weren't saying shit. And now because we're leading up to it, everyone, mm-hmm. want, everyone has a voice and like everyone's getting mad at everybody else. And yeah. like, eh, it is what it is. I mean, uh, it, unfortunately we were put here and we don't have a huge say in, thing, in things. Voting is important a hundred percent. But there's only so much you can do, I guess. Yeah. I mean, listen, I hope whatever, you know, these next four years, I hope for the best. You know, not only four, four million years I hope for the best in this yeah. world, you yeah. know. And, uh, you know, I hope this next year or whatever these years that I have a little structure and make a little bit more money, I hope I can sincerely be the change that I want to be in this world. Yeah. And that's by addressing uh, what I think is most important is uh, is to, to create opportunity for more people uh, to want opportunity as well. You know what I'm saying? So so opportunity needs to be created for people that also want opportunity. And I feel like that starts within the mind of us all. Um, it's you up, know, it's ma- up to us as individuals. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, you. no, you're not interrupting. Yeah, but Don't you just fucking do it again. But <laughs> <laughs> but it's like mental health is never addressed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it, this right here is the, is where it's most addressed on the most important things podcast Hell on yeah. YouTube. Are we on Spotify yet or no? No, nah, dude, I don't know what the fuck to hold up. This. <laughs> I don't know. I submitted all them shits. So I don't know what's Did going you? on. I'm probably gonna have to ask somebody about this because I feel like sometimes I feel like I can figure this shit out, and then I start, and then I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Kind of like you and Fiber. Kind of like me and everything. Eh? Oh yeah. So Fiber, you're gonna you're gonna help me. I'm gonna hook you up. So um, talk about that a little. Bit. Uh, and yeah. what you're doing. Yeah, I'll talk about what I'm doing first. Obviously. Yeah. Talk about what you're doing first. <laughs> <laughs> I always have a way of throwing. It's too much shit, people. I'm like, do this, but then do this, but then do that. So talk about yourself and Fiverr first. I can handle a lot of shit. And then talk about mine. And then Uh, we can get into something else. Well, I'm trying my best to, um, I guess my goal for the next year is to work 85, 90% remote. Um, So from home, doing whatever I can from home, whether that be, um, I'm trying to get into more music production, selling my instrumentals, selling my beats, things like that, selling uh, like jingles to commercials, Mm. shit like that. And then I'm also working on voiceover work. I figure I've got such a great opportunity here to practice and work on my voice and make it, you know. <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> that Go makes, ahead. That makes Go me ahead. think of, I seen a little uh, cartoon picture of you in, bo- in a good time. Or am I am I making that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I just thought of with the yeah. music. That. That's our logo. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. you got to throw that up there. Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just trying to do voiceover work. And I'm like, oh, I, I hear that people actually do pretty well on Fiverr. Fiverr's a website where, um, what are they fucking called? Um, um, uh, service. It's like a service website where uh, independent contractors can go, you know, post whatever service they're working on. A lot of, like, if you need a logo made, if you need, like, a, we got the poolside lyric video made through Fiverr. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Um, like, tons of shit like that. Like, if you need pictures edited, videos edited, songs <laughs> written. Hope uh, I can compete. <laughs> uh, maybe. When we get to that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm like, oh, let me sell my services on there. I'm doing pretty well so far. I already sold a podcast theme song and intro. 
um, a I did a, like a voicemail thing, and I did another voiceover intro, and then uh, somebody reached out about an audiobook oh, or wow. a short audiobook. So I got super overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't know if I can read something for that long. Mm. Um, but I practiced. Yeah, and uh, not so bad. So sweet man. So shot. you did an audiobook. I'm working on it. Oh, you're working on yeah, it. How I, long's the auto book? It's only oh. like two hours, so it's not a it's not a crazy one. Wow, that's that's wow, that's that's intense though. Yeah, dude, I'm like I'm probably gonna get like six hour, seven hour orders. So oh, crazy man, shit. I wish you all the luck, brother. Thanks, man. So yeah, we'll see what I can do. I'm trying to, like I said, get my income to be like eighty five percent remote working from home, working from home, and then the rest of it will either be working some type of part time job, um, maybe some income out of a podcast at one point in time, or um, playing my gigs. Yeah, that'd be great. Well, that you that you uh, it's always you always have that in your back pocket. Yeah, I mean, all my gigs are canceled again, so <sighs> I am Going jobless uh, from a musical perspective. But it's all good in both states, Rhode Island and Mass. They shut them down. Um, we don't play often in Rhode Island. Oh, that's true. Too yeah. far. So, um, so yeah, man. I wish you all the best, and you seem to have a lot of Thanks, um, uh, yes, for sure. You seem to have a lot of uh, ex- experience. Um, you know, getting everything up there. Which uh, I guess you can help me. It's a pretty straightforward process. So mm. yeah, I'll do yeah. It. Well, I did it. And I got all flustered because well, because it's, it's a job. So they send you like tax information, and that's where shit gets. Kind I of didn't even I didn't even get it to that point. Ah. Uh, they asked because like I I was explaining how you know why I want to be on there is I I uh, I started something recently called a great day of love. Actually, great day of love. No a. Um, I did a I did a birthday montage video for my dad. You know, saying, oh, maybe you can throw a minute of that in. Yeah. Not even a minute, just like 20 seconds. Um, but yeah, I, I got videos from all different people that are in my dad's life, as you just seen. And um, and it was fun, man. It's really fun, you know, and yeah. it's very rewarding and fulfilling, um, you know, the reaction that you get when you finally do present it to, the, to your loved one. Yeah. Um, so I, I kind of want to be a part of that moment for people. That's cool. Um. It, it, it requires work on both sides. So I'm thinking to get this started off the ground, I want to do a couple for free for people um, to show that I can do it. And then maybe from that, get some sales yeah. uh, from that. So when I do finally start charging, uh, I want to charge like forty nine ninety nine for 10 minutes of videos. Um, and, you know, I think that would be uh, worth it on my end, worth it on on your end, because a lot of time goes into it, as you know, Bobby. You you spend a lot of time editing for this podcast just to get the podcast up. You spend hours on hours, so uh, so yeah, man. So that's just something I want to get into, and that's why we we were talking about your Fiverr. Not only you know, not only the yeah. only reason why no, we talking about my Fiverr. That's but, why uh, I think Fiverr makes the most sense when you uh, were telling me about this idea you had. Mm. I was like, yeah. I wouldn't know how to attack it just trying to sell it on Instagram or right. on Facebook or something yeah. like that. And like, so like Fiverr, I think that like, that's the kind of job you would find on Fiverr. Mm. So Yeah. So I want to see what, what got me messed up is when I started f- filling out the information, uh, it said I had wrote it down, like like the, the description of what I'm doing. And then I said, you would have to um message me all the videos mm-hmm. on my email and i said oh no they can't contact you direct yeah you have to it's all within fiverr yeah so i what is there like a messenger yeah there's a messenger within fiverr oh. and then there's also like so basically what you'll do is when you're making a job when you're making a like i will edit this video for you mm-hmm. um you need to do a description of exactly what you're doing and you need to have requirements for the other person so you ask like basically five questions can i mean or like Tell, give them five things to do, and then that way you know. So when I did my podcast narration, I was like, what kind of music are you looking for? What vibe are you looking for? What kind of tone would you like me to speak in? Do you want me to be a big burly man, or do you want me to be like high-pitched? Like, uh, uh. <laughs> so like you put those actual specifications, and then the client fills that out based on what they want. Okay, so, the, so. when they would send me videos. Uh, they upload it directly to Fiverr. Oh, they can do that? Yep. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, yeah, hopefully you can still give me uh, help doing that afterwards. And uh, if anybody uh, watching uses Fiverr for anything, let us know because uh, there's a lot of fucking shit on Fiverr. You can do a lot. Like yeah. I got, I've gotten logos made on Fiverr. I've gotten, like I said, the poolside lyric video it cost me sixty bucks. Wow! It took the kid a day and a half. Wow! Like, wow. That's just really I good. I had to correct like spelling like seven times, but <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. So I look forward to getting into these different projects and actually, uh, you know, seeing where they go. Yeah. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, we, as you know, in life, we're out here trying to stay busy. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to do. Yeah, I'm starting another podcast. I'm trying to yeah freaking, talk about that. I'm trying to fill my schedule up, bro. Yeah. yeah, Circle of Mindfulness, my Instagram page. Um, 
all about meditation and mindfulness and just um, living your best life, I guess, and uh, a lot about law of attraction and stuff like that. And I'm thinking about doing actual vo uh, video footage as opposed to just the quotes and the affirmations and you know, the, the occasional designs. So, mm. yeah, I, I believe I'm going to start filming something next week. I'm going to use that setup over there to differentiate between the two podcasts that I am currently host of. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, it's awesome. be on the lookout. Um, I'd love to have you on as a guest sometime. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be cool. Imagine Circle of Mindfulness guest, not co-host. Yeah. Because you are the host. I'll be the host. Of yeah. that. That's, That's what's up, bro. You should start your own show, too. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. This is my show. This Great is our show. Great deal of love with Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Great deal of love this show. Oh, man. Oh, shit. <sighs> a dating show. Oh, my God. I can't show. even get a date myself. You That's want me to I'm saying. Go. It'll be like, Great day of love with Kevin. Let's find Kevin a date. I know. I need a date, I'll man. I've been Skyping in. I feel like I have so much work to do on myself that, like, I, I can never get ahead in, uh, in trying to find somebody, man. It's it's kind of sad, to be honest. It's not sad. It's it's uh, it's that 100% work on yourself. It's uh, <laughs> take time to figure your shit out, yeah. and the, the right person will eventually come. It's you know it's bound to happen. I think. Mm. Yeah. It's get yourself and I talk about vibrational energy and all that shit. <laughs> get your shit. again. <laughs> <laughs> get your shit in alignment, and everything will align. Yeah. It's no, you're right. But yeah, man, I got a lot of work to do on myself. Um, but honestly. I look forward to this new avenue in life, working at Paul Massey Chevrolet in Wakefield, Rhode Island. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of upside, poolside. Liam, shout out to Liam Coleman. Shout, shout out, out to Liam. Bobby AGT. <laughs> uh, uh, a good time. But my point is um, I look forward to it all, man, because like it, 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 there, it, there's change. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll never uh, – I don't know where I'm going from here, but, you know, the only way we're going to really – like grow in life is to challenge ourselves. Yeah. You know, and I think I talked about this in the last, last podcast. Uh, I got to challenge myself, man. And, and I'm trying to be a little independent in life. And, uh, you know, for us, um, it's crazy because people say I'm well-spoken. People say I'm like well-groomed. I'm a little, I got to lose some weight, but a little sweaty today, you know, <laughs> people say no, like, uh, they like how I think. And then like, I look at my circumstance of life and the reality of my life. And I'm like, Man, my reality of life is I haven't been able to save any money. I've had a ga big gambling problem, and uh, you know I'm not where I should be. But maybe this is where I should be. I don't know. Maybe God has a plan to, uh, you know, to set me up for you know the the big story. You know, as in truly never give up, man. You know, we're all out here. We all have to realize to never give up. Hundred percent. What? Got to keep going, man. Like it takes a long time, and and even then, I like to think of Ed Sheeran. He put in, he, he talks so heavily about, and I've talked about it on the show before, 10,000 hours. You got to put the 10,000 hours in. And he yeah. did. He fucking gigged on the side of the street mm. every day. He would play two gigs a night on a Wednesday and then a gig on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, That's Sunday, and then savage. take Monday off and then play a gig on Tuesday, two gigs on Wednesday, one on Thursday. And it was like, Jesus Christ. And he did that for years and years and years until, who was it? I think um, Jamie Foxx stumbled Noticed across him? him. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And invited him to his house. And said, you sleep on my couch, use my studio, get what you need to get out. But it was, Ed grinded his ass off. Yeah, right. So and much. Within the grind comes opportunity. Yeah. Because you never know who's going to watch, who's exactly. watching. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And like, it, I honestly, I think about Travis in, in my scenario as well, too. It was, if I wasn't grinding so much as I was playing all these gigs, I would have never bumped into him. And like, What's up, Jamie Foxx over there? Yeah, like, <laughs> hey. But like, I remember, like, I remember the day I met Travis vividly. I was uh, having a stressful day. I was anxious as fuck. Um, and I tend to show up to my gig super early, way earlier than AJ does mm. um, when I'm feeling anxious for some reason. And that's how I bumped into him. I showed wow. up fucking, what, three hours early to my gig? Yeah, you're just like sitting there at the bar I'm by just yourself. Chilling at the bar, and he's like, wow. hey, who, who are you? Who, who, who are you here with? And I was like, oh, by myself. I'm like, my band's playing here in a couple hours. I'm just trying to get drunk. <laughs> and he's like, oh, you know, me and my friends, we might swing back later. What time are you starting? I was like, yeah. And then sure enough, they all showed back up and they were all drunk dancing to uh, Tom Petty. Oh, yeah. It was great. That's yeah. awesome. I seen you live uh, the other day on Instagram. I'm Facebook. Yeah. Fucking awesome shit, man. Doing live streams here. Any musicians in the uh, local area? Mm. Uh, maybe we shouldn't promote that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a lot of effort. Yeah. Well, but, uh, compar know. compared to podcasting. They this come out good, though. They really they do. do. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with okay. the uh, those, with the live streams. Absolutely. How's, uh, how's everything been going for uh, Faceless Travis over there? Wonderful. What's new with you? 
Not a heck of a lot, to be honest. Yeah. You know, I just I'm a pretty relaxed guy, so you same, know, same old shit. Yeah, I'll we'll have okay. to put a picture of Travis with his beard. Travis just shaved his beard, so I will have to put a like, before and after picture of yeah, Travis. Mm-hmm. A year's worth of growth gone. Yeah. On. Travis's beard was <laughs> sounds like my life. Probably down to here. Or <laughs> not quite that long, <laughs> but that it was long. yeah, it was it probably was pretty it was about ten long. inches or so. And yeah, as you know, uh, we didn't even mention our official sponsors, um, mm-hmm. but Travis does uh, own and operate a beard oil company and uh, brand yeah. is Beard Co. Now he's got uh, a quarter of the beard he had. Yeah. But <laughs> hey, every beard needs love, though. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> very, very true. Even even what Kevin's got going on. Yeah. Well, you got to hydrate that skin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this will be gone before I know it. I'm gonna shave it. I like being uh, clean shaved for some. Gonna be one of those clean shaven uh, car salesmen. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I would trust a bearded uh, car salesman. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. I would. Yeah. But you can hide a lot of stuff in a beard. I got nothing to hide. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Peter Griffin with the birds. <laughs> Smith Anchor Apparel, Robert D. Smith and his wife Stephanie, for all your customized and personalized apparel needs, please give them a call. Please shoot them a message on Facebook. So, so yeah, man. So we don't have a guest on today's podcast. Uh, you know, not being here for two weeks, I kind of just wanted to, um, you know, just kind of talk and chat with you, brother. Catch up, the more man. time that we can chat, the more time we can put out, you know, our energies out there. Uh, we didn't even say, what is up, everybody? I hope everyone's having a great day today. I'm here with my man, Bobby AGT, on the Most Important Things podcast. <laughs> Underground radio, hey. YouTube channel, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. Find us somehow. But if you have happened to land on us, we appreciate everything that you're about. And thank you for welcoming us into your life. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I know it. It's funny. I feel like the past couple of weeks, the narrow vision as far as topics on this podcast has kind of been dwindling. Yes. I don't feel like it really needs to be that way. No. Um, I mean, maybe it does, and maybe we're assholes, and yeah. people are like, this isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> uh, but also, the people who appreciate for us, uh, appreciate us for us, you know, like, hey, I'm here to build a brand around myself, around this, and uh, just kind of put myself out there, so... If that means coming here and just shooting the shit with you, shooting the shit with Travis, and just making this more of a fun, laid-back thing, where we just, I mean, we said before, you and I both kind of fucking crazy, so yeah. we have something about our lives from a mental health aspect to talk about almost every week. Well, you know? we can give a little bit of everything to everybody, <coughs> yeah. you know, and I feel yeah. like our true listeners will will take it whatever. Like, right. they just want to hear us. They just want to be, you know, a part of this, which yeah. is awesome, and I want you a part of it, you know what I'm saying? Like we said on the first couple, like... We out here building. Mm. We out here building a foundation. We out here building a uh, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? A, a something strong, though. Something that we all stand for. Something that we can all unite in in, um, in in bringing to the future. You know, be that change. Be that mm. movement. Be that cult. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to say a cult. Look at you. Kool-Aid. Like, Drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but, like, are, it's, it's cool. a world cult, though. It's not a cult against you. It's not a cult against anybody that's not a part of the cult. We are always trying to build. We're trying to. I don't like the word cult. So I'm I, sure there's some fun cults out there. Yeah, well, what's the exact definition of a cult? I, uh, I just meant, like, a united nation. A group nation. of people who blindly follow a specific. Is that America? Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like the kidding. World. Yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I don't know. There is an exact definition, but... Um, but like, oh man, we are all equals, bro. Yeah. Like we are all equals and um, we have to just unite, you know, and be nicer to each other. Because the more support that I get from my fellow neighbor, the nicer I am as a person to everybody. And I mean, I don't even know if that's a wrong statement. But when I feel alone or when I feel like, um, you know, like don't, I don't feel the love within me. I, I don't know. It's, it's weird, man, because... I'm, I call myself Kevin Barvis for a reason, you know. I put that S at the end because I've probably said this a million times on the on this podcast, but it's like I want to be the best person I can be. I want to be the happiest person I can be. And it's funny because a lot of people, even though they're happy, like some people can be like wicked happy, right? But they don't talk to anybody. Yeah. Me, when I'm wicked happy, I will talk to everybody in in trying to make everybody feel great. Yeah. Like you know my mother, saying? my mother's the same way. Yeah, we used to go to the grocery store and be stuck there for hours because she's chatting yeah. everybody up. I'm like, Yo, let's go! <laughs> oh let's shit! Fucking go! We got taco <laughs> right? shit to do at home. Oh uh, man, but I mean, when I'm happy, like I just I want to make everybody happy, and yeah. uh, that's why it sucks when I'm not happy because Listen. when I'm not happy, I can't give the happiness to anybody because I don't even have to give to myself. Exactly, and it's noticeable, you know. Like yeah. you'll go quiet on Instagram, and I would, <laughs> <laughs> that would I would imagine that's where most of the viewers are coming from. Yeah, um, from Instagram. So, yeah. like I said a million times, bro, we signed up for 
something specific when we hit that follow button on Kevin Barber. <laughs> I appreciate it, bro. Get your shit together. Yeah, Make well, some money. Sell some cars. We're gonna have to move this uh, podcast to a uh, recording on a. F- excuse me, on a Friday. Ooh, how's that, Travis? We might be double booked with uh, Real Men Review. Check it out, YouTube. No, that was just a one-off. Oh, uh, it was just a one-off. So maybe Friday. I mean, I'm sure Travis just doesn't want to fucking do anything on a Friday. No, no, this would be great. This would be gr- uh Well, I'd have to be out of here. Well, it would be every other Friday. <laughs> Actually, this would be good. I could be out of here by 3 o'clock on Friday because I would I, – um, I'm saying Friday because um, uh, my dad – is in a golf league on Fridays, uh, and I want to I want to play in it next year because um I went golf on a Saturday and I did absolutely terrible, mm. but I do have a little bit better st- understanding of golf than I did, so it's something I want to work at and get better at. There you go. Um, but I want to play with my dad in the league next year, so, and it's on a Friday. Yeah. So um I'm gonna hopefully <laughs> when when I start working for uh, the car dealership I want to live because they told me I get one day off and I get Sunday off because Sunday they're closed. Oh, so lucky. Yeah, so Sunday's closed, and then they told me I get one day off. So I want to request Friday off so I can play golf when you know the season comes around. That's fair. So in that, I want to do this podcast on Fridays, and I also want to play golf on Fridays. There you go. Yeah, you I know? mean, and the podcast will be every other Friday. So right. Yeah, we'll true. Oh wait, <laughs> you know what's funny is the golf league don't start until March, April. And uh, you told me I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> the shit. most important things podcast with your host Kevin Barbers and Kevin Barbers only. Yeah. Well, maybe because Travis. All good. I'll sign over the rights, bro. Yeah. That's all you. I'll yeah. have a circle of mindfulness. There we go. And I'll just be a uh, a reoccurring guest on your show. How's that? Yeah. Well, I doubt you're still going to be here March, April, May, unless you have something you in the works right now. I always have something in the works. No, I mean like in the, the buying a house and you're really you know already packing things up and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> shit. All right, so let's uh let's do something fun, man, while we're here on the podcast. Like I said to you the other day, I want to kind of make this like more of just like a podcast of us talking about. I want to make this a show. I want to make this make fun. Uh, you know, you're a good singer. I'd love to hear you maybe. I mean, you you do your your singing on, you know, with a good time and stuff. But I'd love to like hear like uh like a rap song or something. Uh, but that's, from the top of the that's dome. That's the thing. I don't do that though. I'm not no? a, I'm not a top of the dome kind of guy on the spot. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Well, that's good. Either way, I'm not a I'm not a big freestyler, you know. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying my songwriting and my uh, my pr- my songwriting process is very uh, in my thoughtful, own, it, thoughtful and in my own bubble. And um, you know, I I, I melodically a lot when I'm writing songs and shit. You know, what I'm saying I say a lot of nothing yeah. until something comes out. Well, but that's how thoughts are formed. Yeah, but there'll be about like 25 minutes of. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> until something comes tip out. of the head, you know top of the mind, blah, blah, blah. holy blah, blah, blah. shit, <laughs> Jesus Christ. you're really going deep today. Uh, <laughs> oh, now you're moaning. <laughs> good thing Joe Biden won. Oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, man, you know we always have fun in the podcast, and I hope that the people watching this have fun. Uh, man, we had 156 views on our last video. It, it, it seems like people are still tuning in even through the our. I don't want to say bad episodes, but some really down, and you know, negative, not negative, but. So let's talk to these folks directly because it's clear that it it's, so how many subscribers do we have? 156. 156. So I would imagine a good chunk of them are at least checking it out, you know, watching 10 minutes worth. And mm. uh, we'll have to check out and see what the average watch time is. But there, I mean, there is a clear difference between episode one and this last episode. Yeah. The difference being. Life reality. You spam the fuck out of episode one. Yeah. Like you sent it to everybody and their mother. Yeah, I did. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that one's got what, 900 views, 850, yeah, something, something like, like that? that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These other ones, we've just kind of left. Just been dropping. We've been left to the existing subscribers and whoever looks at our initial Facebook post to come check it out. You know, you'll post one, I'll post one. We'll both post a screenshot on Instagram and just hope everybody's going to go click the link in our bio. Yeah. So I suppose maybe we got to put some more work in. Yeah, definitely more work. So and now um, you're a full time car salesman. Yeah, well, not oh, yet, but goodness. yeah, I, I'm like getting good. We're gonna good. have to hire somebody off of Fiverr.com. <laughs> well, what's you up? know, what's up? S- oh, nothing. Sleep is the cousin of death. So the more I sleep, the more I don't get anything done. Yeah. So um, You're I'm die? just no. <laughs> Explain to me not. that that sleep is the cousin of death. Sleep is the cousin of death. We're gonna sleep when we die. So my point is, like, I wanna I wanna sleep less so I can get more things oh, done. That's okay. healthy. Yeah, well, eh. you know, functional <laughs> sleep. Enough Tra- sleep. Travis is actually a very big believer in sleep. So. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> so am I. I'm, I but, love my sleep. You know, I don't know. 
I don't know what I'm saying. All I'm saying is I just want to be someone I understand. of uh, of value in this world, man. And you do know? you think do you think more awake time is going to make that happen? I think so. Mm. More driven, more awake, more uh, more structural. Um, because like I feel like we all. But do you mean physically sleeping less? Um, like five hours as opposed to eight hours. Uh, five or six. If I can function in five or six hours, I would. I mean, know? everybody is different, one hundred percent. Yeah. Um, but um, I average five hours. Yeah. And I feel <laughs> that's like amazing. Sh- I feel like shit all the oh, time. Oh, really? <laughs> but I can't fill those gaps in for some reason. You know what yeah. I'm saying? My mind just won't shut the fuck up. But um, yeah. So definitely sleep more if you can. But use use your time the best you can. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well. Yeah. So, <laughs> so what time are you going to be going to work in the morning? Well, I got to be there for eight. You have to be there for eight. And it takes an hour, an hour away. away. Okay. So I probably got to wake up around six, six thirty. Okay. So wake up at five. Yeah. Every day. Oh, you know what's great is um the gym, uh, the car dealership has like a little gym. There you go. So either before work or after work, I'm gonna try to wake get up in at five thirty then. Yeah. yeah. Try to get in that gym. Has a treadmill. Has some weights. So I want to I want to be in there for at least forty five minutes. Yeah. So it saves on the gym membership. Um, and it saves on uh, whatever else. So I, and it saves me from you know um, gaining weight. <laughs> True. And what, what might be nice about that too is you may have coworkers that make that a regular thing as well. So you yeah. have people to rely on. You know, you know, accountability partners. Yeah, accountability. You know, yeah. Like that. So that's something I want to uh, to have too a strong accountability um, support system constantly around me. Like you call me, which is great, but. Man, when we're when we're in our own heads, that's where things tend to go wrong the most. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And it, like I started journaling, um, and it's helped. But when like I should be journaling more when I get a bad thought, you yep. know, and I just get brought down for a moment, and then afterwards I'm like, fuck, I should have journaled that moment, you yep. know. So journaling, I feel like I got to do a little more of. Yeah, I mean, as long as you're mindful of it in general, you know, Ad- acknowledging that you forgot to journal it, but you're thinking of that thought. And still kind of teach yourself whatever lesson you need to learn. Mm. Yeah. 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 But I'm happy you're journaling. Would you get that tip off of a uh, circle of mindfulness? Uh-huh. Maybe. Maybe. Smart man, that circle of mindfulness character. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> I remember I told myself I wasn't going to like associate my physical self with it until I had like 3,000 followers. But I'm like, fuck it. I'll show my face. Hey, How many are you at now? Uh, 650. Yeah, it's kind of slowed up. I've got it up to, I brought it from zero to 650 in like three weeks but i've also been not as consistent with the um uh, so there was like a four or five day gap before i posted some Mm. shit and uh it's because i made all of it up front and then i ran out and i was like i gotta make more (laughs) well gary v always says don't focus on the numbers just do what you love yeah exactly you know so um you know, you're doing a great job, bro. Thanks, man. I'm getting a lot of inspiration from you as well. I'm trying to make it a habit of going live on the other man. Uh, that page specifically and just whoever tunes in. Uh, a lot of the homies from India. What's your boy's name? Uh, Vidharth? Yeah, yeah. He's been hitting me up every day. Does love, he? Yeah, he super, sends me these nice voice messages. Hello, my friend. I'm like, ah, oh, what's up, man? <laughs> fucking Shout out to Vidharth because he hey, will be watching. He will be watching. Uh, I think he's going to be my first um, um, Great Day of Love uh, freebie. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, one of a couple. Uh, shout out to Vicky. Not Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> Icky Vicky. No, no not Icky no. Vicky. But um, my my uh, babysitter Vicky from back in the day, um, I told her I would do a free one for her, uh, her Christmas. So she's going to send me one. And then Vidhart messaged me this morning and said, I'd love to be a part of this. So I said, all right, my friend, just you know, just send me some pictures or send me some videos of what you want me to make, and I'll, I'll make it. Yeah, it seems like he really likes what we do. So Yeah, he loves it. He, was, he watches everything. Bro. That's awesome. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. Fun. You know, when you get that support, you know, yeah, it yeah. feels good. Makes me feel uh, a little more important than I am, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're all important. We're all the most important, you know? My favorite um, saying, we are, um, my I don't f- even know my own favorite saying. What is it, Travis? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing and everything all at once. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Travis is playing a flight simulator right now. <laughs> is he? Oh, no, nice. No, no, no. <laughs> I was oh, earlier. Oh, man. <laughs> I walk in and he's like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Well, I was waiting for you guys. You know, I had to do something. <laughs> hey, he said one thirty. <laughs> oh shit. Um, yeah, man. So this is always good, bro. I'm so happy we started this. Um, and, and we're gonna keep on rolling until what? March. We'll roll until we roll. Maybe enough it goes after March. I'm. I plan on buying my own little studio gear. Get my own little corner that looks similar to this. Maybe it can be like the extended brand center. 
in Tennessee. And yeah. We can zoom this bitch out every day. Yeah, we'll zoom it. You know, you'll, you'll I'm sure you'll get a nice mic as, as well. If you're rooting tootin', I would. Yeah. Brandis Center Studios on location. Hey. <laughs> I'll go start doing some field uh, interviews. You guys ever watch All Gas, No Breaks? No. It's this kid on Instagram, right, on YouTube, and he's like this funny, pimply kid. His name's Andrew. He's got an afro and, like, pimples, and he wears this, like, Dwight Schrute-looking suit. And Is he, that the kid that does the food reviews and stuff? No, he goes to, um, like, he'll go to, like, something like a Trump rally, or he'll go to, like, uh, who are the, the Proud Boys, like those, you know, mm. protesters or whatever. Yeah. He'll go yeah. to their rallies, and he'll, like, interview all the dumbest people <laughs> and, like, just, like, showcase how dumb they sound. Oh <laughs> and God. he's always just, like, so serious. <sighs> and, like, sometimes people will be like, here, smoke this joint with me. So he's always, like, smoking joints and, oh like, drinking God. and, like being awkward while he's interviewing these fucking loud proud boys and oh it's so God. funny dude but he was just on king and the sting recently oh was he and like him and his whole circle he's friends with um what's that kid's theo name von? theo von not theo von but he's a uh, brandon Sherman. he's uh like a brian kelly lower tier comedian he does those uh not chris delia no he does those fuck boy uh videos um, I want to call him. I want to say his name is Blake, but it's not. He looks like a Blake. Yeah, you know shit. I don't know who uh, he is, but is uh, he, the, should I know who he is? Maybe. Yeah. Do uh, I know him? He he has the white. He makes the white claw video. No laws with the claws, baby. No. <laughs> no. Uh, shit. I don't know He's name. popular though. He's pretty popular. Yeah. Um, oh. But they're all like friends, and they're all starting to like become stand-up comedians. Okay. And like, do you watch King and the Sting? Uh, no. So they I've ha- seen it. They I have like something it. called the Culture Corner, right? And it's two of their friends. And like Gianni or Kyle or something. Kyle, yeah. But their whole friend, like, basically they just, like, started doing stupid videos. Mm. And now they're all, like, getting so much recognition from doing their stupid videos that, like, they're actually actually doing stand-up com- comedy now. Oh, wow. And they're, like, getting noticed by people like Theo and Brendan. And, like, they're getting invited onto the show. Mm. And it's just because their content is funny and they put it out constantly. Right, okay. It's so It's crazy. But entertainment uh, is everything. Yeah, man. I love watching like small community, like uh, like a group of friends. Like there's a musician that I follow. His name is Sam Chow, okay. right? And he's from like maybe Washington. I'm not sure. Somewhere out there. But his whole squad, all like, you know, not very well-known rappers. But I've been following them for years now. And like one of them finally got to do a song with uh, Macklemore. And it was crazy because, like, I just watched them as a small Bro. group. Like, I followed, like, all four of the dudes that were in one music video together and watched them all go on their individual journeys. Oh, wow. Doing it the same with these comedians and the people who were in Theo Vaughn's Culture Corner. Mm. They started off as just, like, these funny dudes that were, like, chiming in on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And now they've got their own careers because of Wow. It's crazy. I'm sorry. I just wanted that rant. No, that's awesome, dude. It, but. No, I mean, that relates to everything that this podcast could possibly be because we are trying to grow. We want to keep growing. And I want it, the people that are here today to be able to look back on what, what we've done and say, you know, look where they started. Look what, you know, they talked about the 135 uh, subscribers and they're appreciative of every single one. And we're going to appreciate those just like we, um, you know, if someday we do have millions of subscribers, which I truly hope because I want to make the biggest impact in this world. Uh, while I'm here, Bob, and and for me to do that is to stay consistent and stay doing what I truly believe in, and um and, and that's what keeps me going, yep. you know. Growing keeps me going, you know. And if I'm not growing, Bobby, I, I'm not, I I'm a, <laughs> I'm zero to society. That's just you know, it's it sucks, but uh, it's just what I feel sometimes. Yeah. I mean, we should all be growing constantly. So, I mean, you're aware of it. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So like, you can make the change. You can start making the change now. Well, I, like I said, I think um, this car dealership job, I think it's really going to help me uh, in all aspects of life. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, just continue to be happy, man, because a happy person is a, is a dangerous person to the, to the evil. You know, they, they're those, they got lead legs to stomp it out, and, uh, and, it, and it, it's infectious to people. You know, it's, it's, it's contagious. To, to, happiness is contagious. You know, the happiness... Um, Contagious happiness, people that want to see others happy is contagious. Yeah. Like arrogant happiness is not contagious because it's just like you just want to give them a big fuck you. But it's like I'm, I don't know, when I'm happy and I, and I feel it too. When I'm like at my happy, hap, happiest, like I can just feel the, the, the fact that I want to make others happy. Yeah. And if I'm not at like, – like right now, like I'm, I'm happy but I'm not like as happy as um, like I want to be, you know. <laughs> and it's just it's just something internally that uh that um you know I'm making this switch from uh 
you know, from working for my dad's business, being very flexible, but pretty much doing whatever I wanted to, yeah. to now work for a car dealership that's an hour away, uh, eight to seven. Um, so there's a little nerves. There's a little, uh, uh, I don't know the exact word, but it's a little uh, different feeling yeah. that I'm feeling. Uh, as time goes by and I'm getting used to it and I can see what it's all about and money starts coming in and, and, and the joy that I bring people in selling cars, um, the joy that I see from them from buying a car is what I more meant. Um, and just be part of that. Yeah. You know, and that's the same thing. I kind of want to be part of the, 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 the great day of love, you know, the, the, the birthday montage videos or that I want to make for people or the anniversary videos or wedding or, 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 or Christmas, you know, and I'm not a professional at that. You know, but I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? You got to start somewhere. You know? Yeah, you got to start Eventually somewhere. Eventually, your editing skills will get better. You know, your your business sense will get better. You'll be able to branch off of that to things that might work better. You never mm. know. Yeah. So, and building know. that trust that yep. I'll get it done, you know, right. because, uh, because it, you know, right now or like this last year or whatever, like, you know, uh, I don't know. I'm just like a voice in people's heads. Yeah. But like I want to I want to provide a service to you now that we can both uh work together with, you know? I like that. Yeah. And you know, uh, you've made what two birthday montage videos so far? Yeah. And they were great. Quality stuff. I mean, made me emotional too. I don't yeah. even know these fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> and I I I piece it together, you know, to make it, you know, good. You know, like when I did uh one for my former boss mr birchfield senior um I, I organized it in the correct way that it would touch him um in the in the best you know order like yeah. like, like oh i haven't heard from this guy in 10 years and you put him strategically like at the end you know? yeah well no. sugar ray landed i put him at the end and then my dad's uh i kept popping in my my grant my uh my nephew yeah so like and he loves my nephew so like awesome. his grandson but like kept popping him in just to like, keep him fresh out there you know and and i don't know i feel like i could uh I could uh, really be part of someone's special day, yeah. you know, and that's what I want to be. Oh, yeah. You know, be part of everyone's special day, you know. Special day to be alive. I don't want to crash any weddings. I want to be a part of a wedding. I don't know. Crashing <laughs> weddings is a blast. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh. So, man. Yeah, What do you want to chat about? What do you want to, anything else you got on your mind? Yeah. Uh, Anything else you got on the job? Just, uh, I want to continue to grow here. Episode nine of the Most Important Things podcast. We still here. Uh, I bet you a lot of people, probably, <laughs> probably a lot of those 801, 900 views of the first episode, Bobby. People did not think that we would be here on episode nine, but we're still here. Mm. Um, you know, and, I, and some people ask sometimes, you know, how's your podcast uh, growth going? I'm like, it's going, you know, and, yeah. and we're still doing it. That's the most important thing. Right. Right. Hey, you had you, know a, you had a conversation with Robin Black, who's a uh, MMA journalist and you enthusiast, know, enthusiast and analyst, uh, yeah, analyst, all the whole fucking thing. He's yep. a smart commentator, guy sure. commentator. Yep. <clears throat> for what? Bellator. Post fight announcer. Uh, well, he's uh, he's done plenty. He's done yeah. them all over the world. Uh, either way, he's a super intelligent dude, and he was super. saying he was saying that like a lot of people give up after episode seven, eight, nine, you yeah. know, like that. But it's episode three hundred and fifty six that's gonna be the one, you know, mm. like. That's the way it is, and that's the work. That's the consistency that, we, that you know has to be put in in order for things to happen. Well, as you were saying earlier, I thought you were talking about Ed Sheeran and how he kept grinding and grinding and grinding, and he kept you know doing different things. Yeah. And uh, you know he probably at, at a point he thought he should give up on music, but then, like you said, he, Jamie Foxx came across him yeah. and gave him an opportunity to grow, and now here he is, and he's grown. Right. And same thing with you. You know, you were on a music journey, music journey. You know. And, getting things done and you came across Travis and now you're able to have this podcast, which is a beautiful thing, yeah. you know, yeah. and it's just, it's funny how things come full circle. Um, and you gotta be mindful of that circle, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, it's like, there's so much shit you gotta go through, man. And it truly sucks. Like, it, it, like in the moment, it does not feel like it, sh it should be, uh, what I have to go through, but years down the road, years down the line, we can then look back at it. And I'm like, Oh, I did need to go through that. Sup having uh, and I've been using this term a lot lately. I think it's kind of a superpower to be able to recognize that in real time. You know, yeah, this sucks. Yeah, but it's not permanent. Yeah, so let's figure our way out of it and get mm. our shit back together. And then yeah. that feeling, you know, we don't, we won't have to worry about it in forty years. You yeah, know? but you know what is a beautiful thing is this doesn't suck. Like you and me here chatting, this is a beautiful thing. 
having a blast. You know, it's always a blast, bro. When it, whether whether I, I'm using you for therapy or you're using me for therapy or we're just therapizing. <laughs> Keep making up this word. I think this is the third word you've made up around <laughs> I therapy. I love it. <laughs> KB dictionary or Kevin Kevinisms. I don't know. But Seems like you put some thought into this. People say I speak in like proverbs sometimes, but. Yeah. But man, you know, whatever it is, you know, we're just out here having fun. Yeah, dude. You know, and hopefully uh, more people can start listening and more people can be inspired. Like, I've, I've had so many people tell me, like, yo, you've inspired me to do this, you've inspired me to do that. And I just want to keep that same inspiration yeah. that I can give to people because that'll also keep me moving forward. You know, yeah. I just want to keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. You know? And I like uh, keeping it fun. Let's segue with that. Let's have some fun with these motherfuckers. Hey. Hey. Bada bing, bada boom. Pod Dex, baby. Shout out to Pod Dex. Travis at Pod Dex. It's funny. There's a Travis in uh, that aspect of our lives, and there's a tra- uh, Travis in this aspect of our lives. That's good stuff. So. Yes, I, I got to start. I'm sorry. Side note. I got to start working on my enunciation, especially if I'm going to be narr- narrating audiobooks, yep. because I stutter a lot. And I mumble a lot. Yeah. It's funny. I can't tell if my child has selective hearing or if I actually stutter a lot. But I <laughs> ask her to do something like fucking ten times. She'd be like, Dad, you're mumbling. I'm like, no, I think you just don't hear me. <laughs> uh, shit. So this first one is: If you had to teach a class on one thing, what would you teach? I think you know the answer to this one. Something on mindfulness. Mindfulness, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. All that's right. actually a, that's actually like a segment in a lot of schools now. They'll have a mindfulness minute in the beginning of the day every kid sits down unwinds after getting off the bus and getting ready for the day everybody sits and meditates for a minute mm. super powerful shit so if it was for me i don't know what i would teach because i I'm, I'm not an expert or anything so mm. we'll figure I, mean, I would sit in on your class of mindfulness though so then i can someday teach my I'd, <laughs> I'd hope you take notes yeah I'm just gonna take notes now yeah i will i got you i'm always taking notes bro if there was a sandwich named after you what would it be what would be on it what would be on it? Yeah, uh, if it was a sandwich, sandwich named after me, definitely barbecue sauce, because <laughs> I love barbecue sauce. Baloney, <laughs> baloney, <laughs> baloney, uh, bacon. I love bacon. Um, some kind of cereal, maybe. It'd be like the craziest sandwich ever. When I was a youth, you know, just a young young lad, and I would go to Subway every day after school with my buddies. Right, I would get a foot long sandwich, six. Si- I mean, no, a foot long foot long sandwich. Nine grain wheat was the bread. And I would get the chicken breast, the big old chicken breast. I would get roast beef. I would get turkey. I would get um, the shredded steak. I would get uh, bacon. This is Subway? Subway. Bacon. And then I would get like extra cheese, toasted, no veggies, no sauce. And it was just called the heart attack. (laughs) How much did you pay for that? Like $37? Yeah, it was like, and it was when $5 foot long was a thing too. (laughs) And like all my friends are like getting these giant sandwiches that had mad veggies in it. And it was only $5 and I'm getting this like thin sandwich that had a bunch of meat in it. And it was like $12, $14, or something like that. Holy shinikes. Every day. (laughs) Sounds good though. I worked full time in high school. I barely went to high school. I don't think it was legal. You graduated though, right? I have a a general equivalency diploma. Oh, that's right. You did tell me that. I'm not ashamed of that. My GED is helping me move on. Move on. My GED. Yeah, it was from a while ago. No, it was from Wild and Out back in the day. Ah. You remember Wild and Out, Nick Cannon? Yeah, yeah, hell Yeah. yeah. Is it st- no? It got canceled, right? No, it's still going, but he it's not. As he good. did something weird recently. Yeah, he, he got did something happen. Something. Yeah, he but had mentioned he's, said something. He's, he's back. back on something. Yeah, Nick Cannon's a good dude. So quick. It's funny because you can say things and, and get canceled, but yeah. like, where's your heart at? And man, come on. It's true. Cancel culture, baby. I mean, they're still trying to cancel Joe Rogan. They're yeah, working their asses off to try to cancel Joe Rogan. He's just sitting back with his all his money in his nice Texas home, with his guns and his roses. His uh, bow and arrows and his elk meat and his <laughs> DMT and his isolation tank. And, uh, man, what a life. Yeah, well, it's like you can do a million, billion, quadrillion great things for the world mm-hmm. and say one wrong thing mm-hmm. and the whole world will get on your back. Absolutely. It's true. Oh, he was even saying just the, the scale of the people in the world. He was saying if there's 10 million people that listen to me and 1 million could be like a, such a small percentage and that's the, how many people are, are mad at me about something mm-hmm. he's like yeah, that's a lot of fucking people yeah. he's like but it's such a small percentage of the people in total that listen to me yeah it's crazy i know what are you gonna do though you can't make everybody happy at the end of the day like as much as you want to try it's like sometimes we can't even make ourselves happy so how do we expect to make everybody else happy right and right. 
I don't know. I think it's a uh, and something something. I don't know something that we expect to make everyone happy, but we know that we can't. Mm. You know, yeah. I don't know. I hear you. That's quite the segue from sandwiches. Yeah. So, do you remember those cool dogs? Uh, it was like a hot dog, ice cream, hot dog. They used they used to sell at Six Flags. No. Oh, they were so good. I didn't. I never went to Six Flags often. No. I think I've only been to Six Flags six times total. You know what's funny? <laughs> I went to Six Flags one time with six of my buddies, and I forgot who said it, but he's, he's like, "Damn, with Six Flags, going to Six Flags." <laughs> Classic. Classic. All right. If you were to die, Aunt Bobby, <laughs> if you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what do you think it would be? Or who do you think it would be? What do I think it would be? Yeah, if you were to die and come back as a person or thing, what do you think it would be? Does that mean what do you think it would be? Would it be a person or a thing? Yeah, I mean, a living thing. Um, I think I would come back as a small Asian boy um, from the year 1562. And who currently lives in poverty, but is uh, on his way to figuring shit out. Okay. You know? Yeah. I believe that uh, when we die, we go somewhere else, whether that's happened or hasn't happened yet. Hmm. It doesn't mean necessarily that we wake up as an infant coming out of a vagina. It means that we could just then take the consciousness of somebody who's already existing. Wow. That person wakes up wherever they are, and I mean wake up as far as spiritually awaken. Who, who's to say that that person waking up isn't another consciousness coming through? You know what I'm saying? Like somebody who's dead this is going to sound trippy. I'm not on drugs, I swear to God. Um, but let's say I die. My consciousness comes through. And somewhere in ancient China, 1562, maybe that's where my consciousness goes. But do you know that you lived as Bobby AGT? No. Nope. I, mean, I mean, deep down inside I know. But when we come into a specific realm, I feel like there's a uh, kind of a fog Hmm. Um, and it's our job to remember where we've been and utilize those lessons. I talk about lessons and, and how to use them in other lives. I feel like that's got a lot to do with it. And, um, you know, like the fog of the world, I wake up and I live in America, then I have to pay bills and go to a job all day. Like I didn't sign up for that. You know Hmm. what I'm saying? But it's the everyday lessons that I learn to clear my mind and get back to the mindfulness that I feel like is the point of it all, to remember that love is the most important thing. Mm. And uh, I'm going all over the place. You're good. I am on drugs. I'm squeaking a lot. I am. Sorry. You're moving a lot today. I have to pee. I'm just trying to hold it. Oh, no. It's all good. Okay. Uh, what's did, your one to Did me? you answer that? Did I answer that? Oh, you answered it. Oh, you answer it. Um, if I were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what do you think it would be? Uh, I'd like to come back as a person with a different perspective, um... Like you said, me, be more enlightened, be more, um, maybe take the lessons that I've learned from this past life and, um, and, and yeah, just, you know, continue to try to, try to be good in this world. I hear you. Hell yeah. How about you, Travis? Anybody specific? I don't think anybody's specific, but I, I think, you know, cause I, I do feel that time is kind of irrelevant, you know? So like you spoke of coming back as somebody in the 1500s, so you know, obviously, then you're going back into quote unquote time, right? But if time is actually irrelevant, we've we've created time, you know. Exactly. So, you know, um, so I think that you know, I guess it would be more. I would like to. I really do want to see what the future is going to hold. You know, as mm. scary as that is, I kind of want to see what like the next three generations of yeah. my yeah. kids and stuff, just to really oh, yeah. see what it is, because, you know. Odds are we won't be around right. <laughs> to see sure that, that unless we can get our minds uploaded, yeah. uh, get our get our minds uploaded to yeah. the cloud. Uh, I think yeah. we're closer yeah. than we think. Yeah. Whole, uh, Everything's technology these days. Neuralink, so. man. You know, we are yeah. probably all robots. You know, True. I used to think that we were robots when I was like young. Yeah, like I used to think like everyone was a robot. You know, and like I had this thought the other day that like uh, it's like we're all the same. Like we're no no one's special. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when I started motivating, like when I started putting out motivation videos, I thought I was like this special dude. Like, but that's like, nah, bro, you're not fucking special. You know, um, there's this guy, Dan Pena that I started listening to and he's just like, no, it's about the work you're willing to put in. It's yeah, like, he's an older gentleman, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like, you guys, you just can't be a bitch pretty yeah. much is what he said, you know, because he's like, you're not special. Like we're all, yeah. you have this, you have the ability as your neighbor that you see, you know, doing what they do, you just have to do it, you know, and uh, and that's what I'm continually trying to do. You know, there you go. I mean, uh, it's you know another tangent. I'm sure I'll go into, but uh, I don't think simulation theory is very far fetched. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's that's extremely woo woo to certain people. But I mean, 
who's to say that i mean you look at video games now mm. you look at like you put on a oculus riff and how immersive that virtual reality technology is already mm. and where it was 10 years ago not that great i mean Travis's flight simulator. Even look at just the graphics and the processing power on something like that. And mm. he was driving through a fucking live hurricane today. <laughs> like it's got live weather updates, and it knows that there's a hurricane happening down south. Yep. And he, this motherfucker, flew through it in the game. <laughs> did you guys feel the hur- hurricane? Did you feel the earthquake yesterday? No, I didn't. Did you? No, I was in the garage. Yeah, I, I, I felt it a tiny bit. I thought it was a, just a truck outside. It was very, sh- very small. So very. Yeah. We're in New England. We're in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, that area. Yep. Uh, and the whole twenty people got displaced because of. Oh Jesus Christ! It was what four point something? <laughs> four point oh. Four point oh. Uh, wow! Earthquake. Yeah, it was crazy. I know so many people who felt it. That happened. Shit. It happened, but like it wasn't big. Like I, I started seeing it all over Facebook. I'm just like, God, it really wasn't that big of a deal. But yeah. because it was so different, and we don't experience it. But I was just like, okay, it happened. Cool. Right. My buddy was like, oh, I thought a truck was going by, and then I was like, why is that truck still going by? Yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. Well, it was short though. Yeah. It was maybe five seconds. Yeah. yeah. I feel it. I uh, haven't experienced one ever. I feel like there's been a handful. Mm small ones in this area over the past what 10 years at least and i think 2012 was the last one that was that size of up in uh, up in maine yeah oh wow yeah, wow huh. but it was a pretty fucking gnarly tornado that came through right over here mm-hmm. was uh, it not too long ago what 2014 13 thereabouts yeah, yeah. Oh, wow crazy yeah, if that. you look behind this bank here when you're driving what that way or that way mm-hmm. you can see just that trees really? still down taken from, out yeah holy shit yeah if you drive wow. about a mile or so west of here you can see it, it you can see the damage path yep and then behind sure. my sister's house my <laughs> sister lives along route 169 and the entire back of all those multifamilies up there up on charlton street gone oh crazy she's louise yeah. yeah. is what it is all right so what's the next one who is your favorite hero oh, of fiction i have one. Oh, go ahead sorry <laughs> another great question for me what book belongs on everyone's bookshelf um Shoot, you'd have to answer that one yourself. The mm. Secret, maybe. Mm. The Secret. That's a great book. That's a great book. Um, or Curious George, or Captain Underpants. Classic. Ca- Captain Underpants is a classic. <laughs> um, honestly and truly, I would say probably The Traveler's Gift by Andy Andrews. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna let me borrow that. Oh yeah, I am gonna let you borrow that. It's a great book. It's about a, a gentleman by the name of David Ponder, who um, life is not going so smoothly for Mister Ponder. Hmm. And he uh, finds himself uh, pretty much on the edge. He's driving his car super fast, deciding whether or not he wants to crash into a tree or, you know, whatever. Mm. And then he does, and then he goes into a coma. But in his coma, he experiences um, seven time travel um, experiences where he meets a historical figure, somebody already existing, like Abraham Lincoln. He meets um, Anne Frank. He meets Christopher Columbus, who... We learn uh, these days, I think prior to the book being right, Christopher Columbus is actually a piece of shit. Um, but in when this guy wrote the book, it wasn't perceived that way. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, a few other historical guys, and basically the man in his dream meets all these historical figures, and each figure has a lesson, the seven decisions for a successful life. And he learns each one from each person, and then he comes back, wakes up from his coma, and he can change his life because he hmm. remembers the decisions he learned. All-time favorite book. Um, oh, he's had a couple spin-off books based off that's at Seven Decisions as well. So That's awesome. Seven Decisions by Andy uh, Andrews and The Traveler's Gift by Andy Traveler's Andrews. Gift. Cool. Great book. No doubt. Great book. No uh, all right, hit me with another one. Let's do uh, Ooh. two two more. Okay. How long is it Travis? Hour and ten. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, let me see. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Mm. Being mindful. Be present when you're present. Mm. Um, Presence is a present because my ass. Hey. Kanye uh, West. No, I actually learned that from a gentleman. Uh, maybe I'll give him a shout out. Christopher Berg. So when I worked for AT&T for a brief uh, two or three years, um, the first month of my career, I had to go to training in Framingham. And that was actually similar to what you're experiencing now because I had to drive an hour to Framingham every morning um, for training, be there 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then drive home in traffic down, what is it, Route 9 or whatever, just fucking bumper to bumper traffic at uh. 6 o'clock going back towards Worcester every day for uh, a month, Monday through Friday. Wow. And uh, he was probably the best instructor, teacher, anything I've ever had. Mm. Jesus, that's my wife. Um, best instructor, teacher, anything I've ever had like that. And uh, day one of training, um, he shared with us his favorite quote, and it's stuck with me ever since, and it's be present when you're present. Nice. Meaning when you are in a moment, 
it all ties back to mindfulness. That's You're awesome. in a moment. Be present. Mm. Be in that moment. Put y- your attention needs to be there, mm. not anywhere else. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, that's very important. At home, at work, at school, wherever. Be present. I love it. Shout out Chris Berg. Talking about the present time, I want to say. What is up, everybody? I hope you have a great whatever it is, wherever you be. I want you to tell us what time it is you are watching this video because I have a strong curiosity. I'm always curious to see who sees this video. And I just wanted to sing this song for you. Right now, it's about 3 o'clock, so don't forget to tell me whatever time it is, wherever you are at. And me and Bobby AGT are always here on the most important things. And if you ever want to chat. So on that note, Good night, good morning, or good afternoon. I hope you have a great, great, great whatever. And I will talk to you soon. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to end it? I don't know. It's up to you. Oh, I know you just asked uh, Travis an hour no, 10. Was, yeah, you got your hours. wife calling. You said, oh, my God. So I don't know if you're pushing me out of here. But, but hey. If sh- this is, I was gonna play a song to the speakers. But yeah, whatever's on your mind, brother. I always enjoy coming here, my man, and too, um, man. Me too. you know, I hope this continues. Um, Nothing like I said, else. I got a, I got a, a very, a busy schedule coming up. You know, with this, um, with this new job, but I truly feel like it's something that I need. Uh, that's why I, why I pursued the opportunity, yeah. um, because there's things that I need to do in my life to to grow. Yeah, and just doing this and just, you know. Going for it is not going to, it's going to help me grow to a point, but I need to fund all this and, 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 and work into my strengths, you know, to make the most money I can in this world. Yeah. So then I can then, because the, the more we help ourselves, the more we can then help the other, you know, the people around us, you know, um, it's like at one point, uh, you know, I was trying to use Instagram to help the world. No, I was trying to, I was trying to help Instagram by getting the world's attention. Uh, How did I word this earlier? I thought I was going to help Instagram by, um, by trying to get the world's attention, but you have to try to help the world to get Instagram's attention, you know, and, and with helping the world is you have to help yourself first, you know, and, and I have to be a little selfish for myself um, in, in the, in, in a, a block of time, which is working, you know, and creating independence for yourself. Because shout out to my parents, they do so much for me. And I want to be able to give back and, and show them that, you know, you've created a good man. You know, you've 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 helped me become a better person. Yeah. Um and and I have to take initiative in, in, in pursuing what I believe in and pursuing what my strengths are and pursuing um, what I believe my strengths are and, and, and what other people can see what my strengths are. Yeah. So they're not surprised by what I do because they see what I am good at and they're like, oh, okay, I'm not surprised that you're, you're you know, making uh, birthday montage videos for their special. I'm not surprised you're bringing joy to people, uh, you know, selling cars. I'm not surprised you're doing what you do because... You just naturally do it anyway. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Using your gift. Yeah. Like I said, you know, that's what that's what you're put here to do. So find a way to monetize it and let's get it together. You know, I'm excited to see how this job changes, like, the landscape of your life because yeah. assuming you take it serious and you put your work in, you can be in a completely different person. Like we said off camera, people, or maybe we said it on camera, this is the second time we've done that. <laughs> um, people think a year is a long time. Mm. But you look at 2020, 2020 has fucking sucked, and it's kind of flown by for me. Yeah. Um, you know, I like March felt like the other day. You know what I'm saying? So if you put the work in selling cars, where you could be in a year is crazy. I know people who make a lot of money selling cars, but they put the work in. Yeah. You know, so gaining that structure, gaining that, uh, you know, mindset yeah. is important. And I think it's going to translate everywhere else in life as well. Yeah, man, 100%. And uh, I'm excited for it. Fuck yeah. Well, can't wait to talk to you um, two Mondays from now. Yeah. And then after that, Fridays. Yeah. Yep. yep. It's Friday. 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 Gotta, gotta get, get down, down on Friday. Friday. Yo, she's super hot now. Did you see? Rebecca Black. Yeah. Woo. Shout out Rebecca Black. She's like 23 now, which is good. <laughs> yeah, she's she's uh, she did her thing. I mean, um, her, her parents invested in her it's true. Uh, when she was, what, 16, 17, and yeah. they made this big song, Friday, and... Uh, and that kind of catapulted. I don't know what she it was, does these it days. It was. Uh, she's a singer. She's and she's got a great voice. And she's like legit marketing herself. Like she's like she's a legit singer. Yeah, that video had like the most uh, dislikes. It was at all one fucking point. Tosh Point O's fault. Yeah. 
Yeah. Tosh just had her on recently as like a, hey, I made you famous. Like, don't you you you, sh- you owe me? Like, it was like oh this funny God. joking thing. Yeah, yeah. She's like, actually, you made my life miserable because <laughs> you shared the video and everybody fucking hated it. But, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, no, she's super talented though. Definitely. Good for her. Yeah. Good for her. Doing her thing. She she chased her goal and uh, she got through the bullshit because yeah. a lot of people were saying, because that video, I mean, her voice wasn't. Maybe her voice has gotten better, but yeah, yeah, I know it's gotten a lot better. Oh, yeah, for sure, because yeah. that's it, so. that was part of the service. So you know, they fucking auto tuned the shit out of a thirteen year old's voice. Yeah, they did. Was that how old she was at the time? Thirteen. Thirteen or fourteen. Wow, like that. yeah. that's insane. Yeah, because look at her now. She, she's successful and uh, good for her. Yeah, internet haters have been around for a long time. Yeah, and they're gonna be, still be around. And we say fuck it. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing our thing. Keep doing our thing, brother. All right, bro. Let's get out of here. I'm not paying Travis for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> hey, much love, everybody. We love you all. I hope you have a great, great, great whatever, and I will talk to you soon. Jump in, the water's fine, it's a celebration. No, we ain't stressing cause we on vacation. Not a care in the world today, baby.